Hello everyone and welcome to the Indie Scene. My name is HJ Tenchi and today we'll be taking an early look at Anne by Games by Mo. Anne is a Metroidvania shoot 'em up hybrid with emphasis spread out between combat, puzzles, and exploration. You control number 25 in his quest to find and collect the pieces of his robotic girlfriend so that they can once again be together. Along the way, you will gain new abilities and powers, which will make you stronger and able to access new areas of the robot prison planet Gami. Since this is a special early development build of the game, many things may change upon release for PC, Mac, and Linux. And immediately you see the pink little glowy thing over there? That's one of the pieces of the girlfriend that we need to get to. And, well, we have gigantic blocks in the way. So we can't do anything about that, and that's going to introduce, well, the Metroidvania aspects of the game. Eventually, we will get the ability to go that way, but for now, we must go this way, and maybe find some friends. Or at least use our little awesome wheel thing to be amazingly cute. Hey guys, wanna be my friend? Ah! Oh! Aww. Oh. No friends were made. Once again here, later on we'll be able to get through this and uh, open up more parts of the map, which you'll be able to see by pressing start. I'm using a little Xbox 360 controller. And then you can see there's a ship that we'll get later on in the video. We can then upgrade it with different weapons and parts. Same thing with our own hero and then new different weapons. It's really cool. I really like the fact that they add a lot of different things that you can do with the character and the different abilities that you can get, such as our ship. And what you saw right there, the little shield, I don't, I don't know why shooting blocks is taking so much of my concentration, but is a shield. So we're going to use that on our first enemy here. here go. Ha ha ha! I win. Oh, we actually took some damage. You can see in the top left, our little green bar by the level 1, LV1, is going to be our experience bar on what level we're at. To the right is our HP, and then underneath is our EP, or magic meter. And that's going to be used for our shield, and later on, different abilities. Which you can see, uh, the ability we're using is right under our yellow bar, the shield. These will be also little checkpoints, which will not only resurrect us if we die, but give us back our HP and EP. And then the little box that I broke open is going to give us the green essence known as experience, which I love. The nice thing, too, about this game is it has a lot of the ability to grind, I guess, if you will, and level up a little bit for later on in the game by uh, re respawning the enemies. Man, that guy took a lot of my concentration. So that I really, really enjoy, because then you can kind of, if you're having issues or maybe just want to get to the max level a little bit faster, you can go ahead and actually continually fight these enemies. Alright, so we're going to go shoot that guy. Oh, experience. Gimme, gimme. So this, I, I must say in full disclosure, this is one of my favorite type of genres of games. These Metroidvania games, I love to death. And if I don't die here, that'd be awesome. <laughs> At the very beginning, you actually can take a lot of damage very easily. We only have about 12 health. and do roughly 3 damage a hit. Uh, depending on the enemy, they can do more or less. Okay, let's... Oh, man, I am... I swear, when I was playing it earlier, I was doing okay. Because <laughs> I almost botched it again. <laughs> so we've collected more EC, or the experience points, which you can see in the top right underneath the blue map. There's also a big... Oh, come on. There's also a big Metroid vibe that the game comes with, too. Yeah, as you can see, even on the, the main menu, how they're sitting up at the top. Okay, a fancy wood, wood log acquired, and we leveled up. So in the top left, we get our health back. We get more max health and more max EP, and we're also going to do a little more damage now, too. Let's throw out our shield. See, now we're doing 4 damage, which actually makes a big difference. When they only have about 10 to 12 health, it makes a big difference. This will introduce us also to our first puzzle, since we can't double jump or get there. Let's shoot the button like we saw the enemies doing, and run over there! Alright, here we go. More blobbies, this time a little bit easier. We're doing 5 damage on their... 10 max health. Oh, hey, and 3 damage instead of 1 now. Yeah. Once again, more Mega Man emphasis on the enemies, and almost even in the music, which is something I haven't mentioned yet. The music is amazing. I really, really like the music. The music gets you going. And we're only taking 1 damage now. That's nice. So we're going to jump off the bridge. I'm going to immediately botch it. So you got to let it rev up a little bit your wheel first. I'll botch this one. Oh, no, I didn't. Nice there. We're going to platform up. A nice thing, too, is maybe it'll come in handy later, is by holding the uh, jump button down longer, you can actually jump in different lengths. So I can jump at different height and lengths by holding it down longer, which is really cool. I don't know. It's a small thing, but uh, I don't know. I, I feel that the more I look at games like this, the more I really appreciate those little things like that. All right, so we're going to head on up and get some new music. I really like this song a lot, too. 
I don't know what it reminds me of, but just it, nostalgia comes back to me pretty big time. Okay, now we can't get past these. We can't shoot through it. We can't uh, wheel through it. So how about we get introduced to something that really sets apart this from other Metroidvania games, and that is the connecting to a spaceship. Well, eventually maybe a spaceship, but at the moment it's a, uh, a flying aircraft. Sid from Final Fantasy would be proud. Now we can hold the B button and pull these around. Now one of the things I'll do here is just kind of maneuver all these. Luckily they don't hit you. I swear, if, if these could hit the, shi uh, the ship and kill you, I would have done it many, many, many times. Right, so let's go down here. Yeah, there's actually a piece of our wonderful girlfriend down here. I hope she's not, like, aware that she's in pieces, because that would probably be an uncomfortable situation. But I don't, I don't think the game's going to delve into that too much. Oh, go down, little guy. Come on, number 25. Whee! God, he's so cute. All right, so we're going to jump into our ship. We could have just remote controlled it, but how about we go over here, come down here, and when you see the green right underneath, let's see if we can get to it. Uh, there we go. You see just the little green. Oh, do we need to uh, let's move these out of the way a little bit more? You come over here. Come over here. Tractor beams. Gonna drop on down. Once you see the green underneath the ship, that means you can actually um, land, which is nice. So we're going to grab a piece of our girlfriend. Aw. Aw, hugs. Victory music. Yes. All right, we're going to throw her in our backpack and continue on. Right now, we're looking for logs to create a raft. Once we create that raft, it'll open up a new area of the game. Up we go. And I'm just controlling this. You can either use your analog or D-pad. I'm using the D-pad just for nostalgia's sake. You can see a little chest down there with XP, which we don't need at the moment. And you'll see this is the guy we're going to need to talk to and go across this water. So let's see. Anything else of interest around here? You know what? How about... Let's turn our guy around with the R bumper. We're going to grab a block. Come here, come here. And we're going to puzzle! So the nice thing about the game is you can actually use just your own abilities, even right off the bat. You don't have to find some amazing power-up to be able to traverse new areas. Just using uh, the puzzling tactics and intuition, we're able to do it ourselves. Alright, so let's get a good jump! There we go, and yay! Another fancy wood log. Alright, up we go. Into the ship. And off to the next little area. Although this is a very short, just development build of the game. I've had a lot of fun with it. I've played this through uh, two or three times by now. And uh, enjoy it a lot. I've actually seen new things. Like, you can see how we're going to remake our girlfriend there. And there's just the one little part we've found so far. And we're going to create a leg. Really like that. It's, it's, it's the little things in these games, I think, that really set it apart. Nice. Another level up. Some more health. Some more EP. More damage. More defense. I like it. There's another log. Okay, we're going to go on through. The nice thing is the, the jump mechanics feel good. The shooting mechanics feel good. Um, you just holding the shoot button will make you run, which uh, is kind of out at first, but I like it. I don't have any issue with it. Uh, I haven't had any issue with the game crashing. I haven't had any issue with the game having any bugs or getting trapped anywhere. Because technically, if you get trapped somewhere... You can actually hold the L and R buttons, and it'll explode you, and you'll teleport right back to your ship, which is really nice. Even if it's not in the final version, which I would highly doubt they would take it out, um, it's just really nice to have a, a way to get back. And you could probably even use it or abuse it, depending on how you look at it, to actually get back to your ship quickly. Okay, we can't even go there, even if we had the ability. Okay, we're going to go this way now. I can't get to those chests up there because I'm assuming later on you'll get like a double jump or maybe like a, a Cave Story jetpack. Even though Cave Story technically used the machine gun to fly around. Oof. Come on. Come on. I like how the music, although the music's great, it does belie the fact that I'm being attacked by nasty little mosquito fly bugs and slimes. <laughs> hey, buddy. We found all four logs. He's going to create a raft for us. And voila. On to the next area. I like, I love the character design in this game. I don't know. I'm guessing he's a robot. Not sure. 
But uh, yeah, my friends, this is going to end and it's it's a very short little demo because it is still in early, early development, but it's something that I'm going to personally going to be looking out for quite a bit. Uh, if you're interested in supporting Ann and Games by Mo, please check out the information in the video description below. Please also find them on Greenlight and give them a vote. And for more indie previews, review goodness, check out youtube.com forward slash Pixabyte, the home of everything indie. Thank you all for watching and have a good day. Look how cute he is. Now put your girlfriend in the backpack. It's not something I ever thought I would say. <laughs>